How's it going, everybody? Thanks for checking out this video brought to you by the lovely folks over at my Patreon. If you want to have a choice on what decks I play, be sure to check out my Patreon link down below. All right, we got a little bit of Sultai stuff. Sultai Lear by uh, Harlem Fear. Oh, it doesn't show us anything. But this hand really doesn't do anything. This hand's great. We can play one of these if we need to. So, they're on a mold of five. I feel like we want to split between Thoughtseize and a removal spell and keep our Nissa. So I'll get rid of a uh, Heartless Act here. It's the more restrictive of the removal spells. We don't know what they're on. Molds to five tend to be like, with no companion, tend to be Winota. So like, if we can take a Winota, kill a one drop. Okay, it looks like it's white humans. Sure. Really do want to just play this. Take away a potential two drop. Red, white, interesting. Not really sure what red, white is here. They're just cracking a clue? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's the list that Todd started with um, that Harlan Fear made up. I don't really want to show them an island, but I think we have to get one here. This will get a forest. Yeah, this deck 5 0 I'm interested to see how it feels. I saw a lot of the changes Todd wanted to make. I think they're interesting. Dragon fodder. What is my opponent up to, I wonder? I'm just going to push this now, since we are hoping to divide by zero next turn, if we draw an untapped land. Oh, punished. Super punished. But we just want our life total to stay high. We haven't found a land yet, which is unfortunate. What is Benelish Marshall? Alright, well, we're definitely killing that. A forest. This is a wild deck. Curious to see what it looks like. Missing on land there is tough because we can't even. We don't really want to divide by zero here. We just want to kill this. Yeah, it looks like red white go wide get you dead, but. Alright, looks like they don't have a spell. <laughs> wow, we are. Uh... You're an, old, an odd one. If they attack us for two and don't do anything, I might just... So unfortunate. We're gonna uh, go to combat before we get rid of this. Might just like die to a very... Oh, they F6'd instead of being able to play Marshall again. All right, so we take four down to six, play Nissa. I have a chance. Had they replayed the Marshal, we just die. All right, because we would have taken an extra three here. But if we can draw any removal spell, we're in good shape. If we draw Thoughtseize in it. We're still not in bad shape, just off the basis of how this is. They don't have any cards in hand. I think I am just going to... Do this. We'll attack, offer the trade. They shouldn't take it. We hope they brick for a turn. Or just like play a creature. Alright, well, that's bad for us because we have to block. And they get to just like kind of blow us out. These are all coming at us. We have to block here. Yeah, that's a rough one, but we can play, uh... Okay, Decay's a great one. Let's just make sure we're not dead here, right? Two, four, five. Play Nyssa. Okay, so... Black, green. Plus on Tomb. Plus second Nyssa. Plus here. All 
And then we need them not to have a removal spell or a, uh, a way to protect this. There we go. Block. Block. Kill this. And we have lethal next turn. Hey, we did it. That was a close one, for sure, for sure. And stuck on three lands, drawing three Nissas, but we get there in the end. They also flooded pretty hard here, 15 cards. Alright, so let's get these Narsets out of here. It looks like they're mono-white probably splashing something. Like heroic reinforcements or like fries or something. They're, they're definitely doing this as a splash. Uh, so we want Kalidus. We want Extinction Event for sure. Probably want some number of gusts, but until we see something a little bit more red centric, I don't know how many of these we want. Thought seizes aren't good. I think we'll bring in the two gusts to replace those and leave the third gust on the board. Like these considers aren't great. What are you pouting about? What are you pouting about, Craig? We got Salta here. This is what you wanted. Although we did have to beat that red-white deck that basically just looked like the deck that beat us in the finals of that PTQ. Craig, thank you so much for the sub, my friend. Appreciate it greatly. Moving the sub count ever closer. Put, our, put all our goals down at the bottom. Some more 10 hour streams, things like that. I think I like this. I can't, yeah, I don't think we can justify either of these. I don't think we need go blank. Until I see something that makes us want to be like negating, I think we just want to be gusting. I love Divide by Zero. I hope it's as good as, as it was advertised on Todd's stream. All right, this hand's great. All right, we're learning though. That fatal, that fabled passage fetch was a little rough. Ooh, Legion's Landing. That's a hot one I haven't seen in a minute. I think I'm willing to lead here. We can play this on two, play this on three, but especially against Legion's Landing, I want to contain whatever they're doing. Okay, fine. On event stories. Mr. Jason, sir. My god. That's not even my dad. Where do I go for fun event stories? There's tons of fun event stories. Unfortunately, I have a million of them. Or fortunately, I guess, depending on how much you want to hear me talk about old events. Zelda hiding out? No, Zelda was here earlier, but she decided that uh, she wouldn't Dane us. Oh, wow, you like summoned her. Impressive. I don't know if she heard her name and came running, but as soon as I said she wasn't here, she was just all about it. That was impressive. Alright, I think we just pass here. Zelda can slightly lower it. She's vibing on my leg. Winota, that's what they're doing. Okay. They're red white Winota. That's actually kind of sick. I was n okay. I was not ready for that. And they have two protection spells too. All right, so this has to get green. So we can... We can divide by zero the Winota, or we can Abrupt Decay... Abrupt, abrupt Decay Heartless Act.
Like, I think we're fine just, like, dealing with this this way. Alright, let's do this. They should... Sack this one way. No, they just let it happen. Now I feel kind of like an idiot, because if I had let on Decay... I could have just... No, I still couldn't kill this. I have been outspiced. Opponent's on one. We're just gonna be able to get this back in their hand. Yet another human. If we natural land, we can decay but not divide. Hey, hey, look at that. Look at the size of our brains. Another forest. I think I'm just gonna divide by zero. More mana efficient, and the turn after we Nissa, we can just Aether Gust it. This is neat, though. Yeah, I never put together that all their creatures, like, their low-end creatures were non-humans, because I just saw the human draw. Yeah, probably should have seen it from the, uh... What on earth is this? Looks like an X-Spell? Blade Historian. Uh... Huh. Yeah, I think we want to just do this. Blade Historian's a good one, though. That's like old school Winota. I don't think I should. Oh, we kind of want Mascot Exhibition. If we didn't want all the cards in our hand, but this one's a little bit on the iffy side. We'll take two. Breeding Pool, best possible draw. Let's just leave this untapped and this. Now we have Decay and get Gust up, and then next turn we have Mascot up Expedition. Oh, there you go. Welcome, welcome, Dr. Jill. Yeah, my, my streaming hours are much later than I think people assume. Uh, and so a lot of times they'll just be chilling, watching some YouTube stuff, and then see... Brutal Cathar. Okay, so this has the the... It has this text, the, if we kill it in response, it just never leaves. Yep. There we go. So they're gonna put, this is, this is six, so we do want to protect our Nyssa. Because then we're gonna just have Mascot Exhibition to block forever. Blade Historian to the bottom. Okay, that's pretty nice. Oh, that's massive. I think we're just doing that. Get Leer out here. Yeah, that should be game. So, when Todd was playing this today, he was talking about how, like, Leer felt good, but Nyssa felt insane. And I have said that Nyssa is not very good in Pioneer. Nyssa felt great there, so if... If this league proves me wrong, I know at least one or two people in chat will uh, will let me know. There it is. That was a very impressive game. Opponent shows us Kahira, so pretty much in Pioneer, that's only going to be blue-eyed control. So against blue-eyed control, how much do we like this hand? The answer is actually a lot. <laughs> I like this hand a lot against blue-eyed control. We almost certainly, yeah, I mean, if this deck is is good, and like, listening to Todd stream today, it sort of felt like the deck has a lot going for it and might need some tweaks, but like, if the archetype's good, like, Leer adds a lot, a lot you wouldn't expect. All right, so I wanna make sure that this Nissa resolves. I think this Nissa resolving will be the be very good. So I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna thought seize them. They could just censor it, but then they can't censor this. Or it just prevents them from cycling. Okay, Azorius Charm seal away. Let's get rid of this Azorius Charm so they're stuck with the cards they have. Do they have to draw exactly an absorb or a sensor here? We actually have a lot of basics in this deck, so they can't really like cut us off of anything. I mean, they could just like 
attack this, and then we might not be able to Narsa it, because I don't think we have two islands. I should check that, actually. They let us untap, though. Alright, I mean, I'm going for it. I don't think- I think our game plan is very good if this resolves. And they had one draw step to find a veto, a sensor. Oh, they found it? <laughs> Alright, well. I don't think it's unreasonable to say they have one draw step to find a sensor and absorb, or a veto. But they did it. But now we are in a little bit of trouble just so far as... We're not doing much. Alright, I'm going to play this Karyatid. Consider look for a land. Find the land. I think we want this as blue. We'll hold up Consider again. I mean, it's rough. Uh, I mean, we could have just waited till we had Leer, but we didn't have Leer. Yeah, Teachings is good. I think Fractal's too costly to be playable. Uh, for what you're trying to do. Uh, I really want to get Leer down, but I want to be able to play Thoughtseize the turn I do it. So I think I'm just going to play Consider here, look for another land and pass. Perfect. Play the land. Yeah, I want to be able to, to do this. We know two of the three cards in their hand. They're going to scry two, though. Yeah, I think Teachings could be good. Uh, of the Lesson cards, I've looked at the Lesson cards a bunch for other formats. Let me see. Let me see while well, they're scrying. That's fine. Pioneer, Quantity Zero. That's not right. Do I have a sub filter on? Oh, there we go. I was like, that can't be right. Alright, so assuming it's Sultai, con Conjuration's not really worth it. Yeah, Containment Breach might be okay if you need like a main deck uh, Disenchant. I don't think we'd ever play Noxi Noxic uh, Necrotic Fumes. Noxic Necrotic Fumes. Yeah, Transformation, not really... Spain did not really. Introduction's interesting. Same with Introduction to uh, Prophecy. We can speak today. Introduction to Prophecy. Both of these at least give you some modal options. Pet Summoning. Pest Summoning might be interesting if we're worried about aggro decks too. Alright, played the planes. Alright, so we're going to play Leer. Leer can be countered. They put one on top, one on bottom, but they haven't drawn... No, they did draw the card they put on top, so maybe they just counterspell. I think if we can Leer and Thoughtseize, we're in good shape. We're, like, kind of falling behind to this, so we can't just wait forever. Uh, Todd for... or wand with it, losing to black-white humans. I shock this in. Uh, Harlan Fear uh, 5 0 with it. This is where we got the list. Alright, they have two cards. One they scribed to the top. Is this just an absorb? Yeah. Alright. Well, we are in an unfortunate position where our opponent is. Last card, seal away. They're in that. They have a scry to every turn, which is the biggest problem we're going to face here. We just need to, like, find another threat. Our Narset and our Leer getting countered there was pretty rough for us. And, like, they don't have to act until they have, like, seven cards in hand and four of them are counter spells, so... Unfortunately, them hitting this, uh, this Narset and this Leer is going to prove difficult to beat, I think. Match up like this, we want Negate, Narset, Duress, go blank. Yeah, Hall's fine. Hall actually is not so fine when you look at our hand of all things that can't hit it. But like, if they do go all in on Hall, we could always block and divide by zero or carry it and grab a, uh... 
Mascot e Expedition. Yeah, unfortunately, game one is a mid-range seconds control. You need one of your threats to stick. I think we did our due diligence, just didn't work out. So now we need to try and go on top. That's bad for us. Now we just need to, to pretty much just figure out if we can slam a threat at some point. Like if we can find a Thoughtseize and a threat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could play Leer here. If they counter, we can divide by zero. And then we can Thoughtseize. Commit. Commit doesn't really work as far as getting divide by zero. So I think we're just gonna divide by zero our own spell here so it goes back to our hand. Yeah, just doing it to their spell, they just cast it again, doesn't actually do anything. I guess it's the same difference, so make them tap out and cast it again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We definitely want to use one of these to be able to draw a card. Could grab Confront the Past. It's actually not bad. I mean, it's bad if they memory. I'm just going to grab Mascot Exhibition for the first one. The second one, we probably want to get Confront the Past to pick up Narset. Yep, so they commit, put that on top, and they're going to field us next turn. Confront pick up Narset's kind of a nice little combo. All the lessons are sorcery though. I hate blue white so much, play blue black and close out the game. We only have one life on this earth. We should not be wasting eagerly anticipating casting Doom so you don't turn 30. I've actually been playing against a lot of uh, blue white online recently. It's felt really good. I'm a little concerned about how good it's felt to be honest. Because I also don't love playing against it. I like playing it more than I, I like playing a lot of decks, but we should have tapped differently. But there's the veto. They can field to get rid of Ly uh, Leer. We have the push now for the hall, which is nice. We only have two turns worth of life for hall. Yeah, Del Fable. No. Is this a memory deluge or a dig through time? Could just be a shark. We can, can answer pretty easily. I assume, yeah, it's a dig. Yeah, I think Blue White's really well positioned right now, just on the basis of like a lot of these decks are mid rangey, like ours is, where like you just go over the top game one. The aggro decks are obviously going to be tough, but like you have Absorb, you have other things to answer. Like Azorius Charm, Seal Away, Absorb. Like you probably have game against a lot of the aggressive decks. You're not favored, but you have game, and you're favored against a lot of the mid-range decks. Teferi is also just like a house so often. Like the blue base control decks were the thing that knocked me out of the PTQ with Niv. And like if you're good against Niv, good against mid-range, can answer Winota reasonably, and like deal with aggro, you're probably in a good spot. Like blue white's very unlikely to ever be the best deck, especially in a format with so much discard, but I'm sure it's good. Yeah, I mean, Teferi 5 is a win condition. I, I used to play a lot of blue-white, uh, just Teferi control and standard, and, like, it is a win condition. And if you're... The thing is, like, now that they, they have Hall of the Storm Giants, they actually have a really fast win condition. Like, it used to be castles and stuff, but, like, Hall just gets them dead. Like, in a way that never existed before. Like, so many games against blue-white, they just lock you out, clear all your lands, and then attack you the 7-7 seven, seven you can't do anything about. And it kills so much quicker now. Like one of my matches in the PTQ, my opponent was down like 10 minutes and just couldn't ever die. Oh my god. I tapped like an idiot. I deserve this. I deserve this. That's okay. I, I don't think we're winning that game. I'm sad that I don't get to find out, but we definitely were not looking great that game. 
Let's get rid of this. Bring in these. Bring in these. I deserve that. Yeah, I like it too. Like, the thing is, I don't like playing against blue-white, but it's never one of those decks that's truly that bad to play against. It just often has some frustrations. I'm gonna trim two of these and one of these. Pushes are just for Hall. These are for Narset. Everything else we can answer. Like, the thing about this matchup, in theory, right, is like, Nissa, all of our threats are insane against blue-white. We just have to have one resolve. Like, if one of these nine cards resolves, we're in pretty good shape. So, like, game one, we're in a tough spot. We got a little unlucky, but, like, I still don't think we're in any shape to be winning that game one. Yeah, I think Blue White's strong right now, for sure. The Salti deck is one that I'm interested in, but like, I know Todd was talking about wanting to cut, consider, uh, trim on Narsets just because of how much aggressive decks there are, but I think you want the Narsets somewhere in the 75, but they don't have to be main. Yeah, that's the thing, is like, without Teferi 3, you have a pretty balanced game with Blue-White. The thing is like, the reason Blue-White's so good right now is that like, 60% of the format has a tough time answering a Wrath or a Dovin's Veto. Every deck in the format has a hard time answering Teferi. So like, if you if your main threat's hard to answer, and you get to tailor your deck to play like four Dovin's Veto main and it doesn't punish you, then your deck's just in a good spot for the format. I think if we get to a place where like, you can't just run four Vetoes and Narsets in the main, then Blue White's not good anymore. But like, until... Phoenix, Ascendancy, things like that get pushed out by, like, Nar uh, Heroic, um, Burn, all these style decks, and I think it's just where you're at. This is, this is a mighty speculative hand. I think we're just going to lead on this. We don't have anything to push through, so I don't really want a Thoughtseize on one here. They don't play any big haymakers on turn one, or two, turn two. We definitely want to land this Karyatid, though, so that's good. Karyatid's not a bad one. We just need to find a threat here. Like, ideally, right, they play, like, Consider here. We They play a tap land. We go, like, Thoughtseize, go blank, untap, slam Nissa earlier. Like, that's our ideal. I'd even take Narset here, like, Thoughtseize into Narset. You should play. I can bring your deck anytime you want. All right, let's see how lucky we are. Thoughtsies. Dispute, dig, dispute. So not that lucky, huh? All right, let's take a dispute, and then we're gonna just shock and play go blank. It's double field of ruin. All right, so we know these cards. Getting this Nahiri, or Narset down is going to be tough, but we'll get there eventually. Next turn we can actually do it, so... We want to divide by zero any spell they play here, which shouldn't be anything really. They should just play this farmland and pass, I assume. Get vetoed, that feels real bad, because then they can veto plus dispute our divide. Need to play... ooh. Okay, so... Do this. They dispute, we just pay. I'll pay. They draw sensor too? Stop, opponent. Come on. That's <laughs> come on, opponent. 
Why are you so rude to me? Over and over again. Alright, if this Nissa doesn't resolve, we are in trouble. So duress, maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, we can, in fact, deal with a... Uh, a sensor, but that's it. We know one of their cards, though. So if they drew sensor into... Absorb or Veto, we're doomed. They did? That's... Oh, commit? Alright. Opponent. Man, oh man. Opponents just living their best life. This is where they just slam Teferi. Yeah. We've all been here. We've all been here. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, opponent. This is this is the blue white experience. If they drew like a Dobin's veto, we're doomed. Okay, one, two, three. All right, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this. Don't you dare have it, opponent. Okay, confront the past. Buy back Narset. Get Nissa. Play our land. Oh yeah, that's that's the thing is like the longer you play these style of matchups, like you have to understand, right? Like I've played a lot of blue white. They board in, in in this kind of matchup, right? They have four disputes, four vetoes, four absorbs, at least one uh commit memory, and then probably something else that's difficult to answer, right? That's so much to have to to wade through when you're just playing like one huge haymaker at a time. The way you used to beat blue white is you just like ramped ahead and then cast like Nissa Lear on the same turn. Like that was your your game plan. All right, go blank you. They get rid of this dig through time. They did, and they drew us. They were gonna censor us those monsters. I mean, they still might have it, right? They didn't draw a card. But their last card could be a sensor. Yeah, they found the sensor. Okay. We know the negates on the bottom of our deck, otherwise we would consider using a dual land here. Alright. I'm just gonna take another Nissa. They're down to one card in hand. We have the board controlled. I don't think we need to, to thought seize them. Your own, Narset. That's illegal. Alright, well, they'll have four mana open, but they can't draw another card. We'll have enough to kill both these. Okay, just took... Just took Thoughtseize, go blank, divide by zero, confront the past to buy back Narset, go blank. We did it. Yeah, post-board they have so many counter spells that if you can get under them, it's easy because they just get trapped with counter spells. But if you don't get under them, which like game three is where we're going to struggle to get under them. But confront the past already paying dividends, right? Like this was just Narset. I like that. That was some good shit. Uh, still think we want to maintain this split. We have to have answers to Hall and Narset. Don't think we want these. Yeah, I think we are. I think we are who we thought we are. We just gotta land some discard and hope they don't find their counter spells on time. How's it going, Ben? Sorry to roast you so much in the group chat earlier. Sometimes it's just the setup is too clean. You see red. All right, so we have to rest, but no carry to it. Okay, now we have carry to follow up. But again, like, what are we duressing here? I think we just play our land. Yeah, I think that we just gotta ice them out of the game. That's not a great draw, but I can't be too mad about it. Be good in 40 turns. Alright, if they want to censor this, that's fine. It's it's nice to have, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, sure. Like that is a sensor that's not hitting anything relevant. Like, if we get Narsetted here, that kind of sucks, so maybe we're just supposed to, like, play tap. Oh, they don't have a Narset, so that's good for us. 
good for us. We're just going to play this and pass. Leer's great. We have our, our one mana Leer effect here. The next turn, we're going to play Duress, hold up, divide by zero. Also lets us Duress through a... Um, let's us duress through a mystical dispute hard cast okay absorb detention sphere dig through time mystical dispute land so all of these are annoying but none of them actually win the game for them I think we can buy enough time to play around this Mystical Dispute, so I think if I take Absorb and plan to divide by zero this Dig Through Time, that's our plan right now. It's not the best plan in the world, but I think this also allows us to have a chance to like find some more discard and just poke a hole through their defense. That's fine. Play our tap lands. We only we need eight mana to get through dis or nine mana to get through dispute and duress. They might field us here to add an extra card for dig through time. Yep. Uh a lot of black mana, sure. We have double green. We have all our colors. I'm gonna grab another forest in case we find Nissa. We also have another blue-black split land here. Shocking that in. Like, the problem with this is that if they let us untap, they needed to... What they needed to do there was shock, play this dig through time on their turn. Because now what happens is we can divide by zero the dig through time, they mystical dispute, and we just pay. Had they done it in our upkeep or on their turn, then we wouldn't have been able to pay for the dispute with our divide by zero. But by doing this, they're going to pay five, hoping to hold up this dispute, and it's just not going to do anything. And put that back. I mean, they could dispute just to, like, tap us out to hope that they draw something worthwhile, but... We get to draw a mascot exhibition here. Six. All right, they don't have a land. We can just play three, six. Okay, so we just want to play this again. Take it nice and slow. We're not in a rush. We want this Leer to come down at a good time. So the Shark Typhoon. All right, well, that's fine. Had that one covered. So if we draw a land, we have Leer covering Dispute to Fairy, huh? I'll divide by zero here. If they want to dispute back, that's fine. We have to hope that they don't have a counter spell for Leer. So then we can duress them and take this D sphere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. All right, so we can duress, or we can just hold up divide by zero. I think I'm gonna duress. We can detention sphere the, uh, or divide by zero the detention sphere. Okay, we don't have to care about things getting countered until this is gone, which then we will have to, and their hand is just mono counter spells. Jesus. 
All right, we'll get rid of Detention Sphere. Makes them have to tuck this, but we're kind of doomed. <laughs> Their hand is just three counter spells here. A cycle Sensor, that's fine. Yeah, all they have to do is tuck this... Tuck this Leer with Teferi and we're kind of doomed. I mean, maybe they assume... I mean, having these cards in hand means they have to tuck this anyway, right? Like, we can't even get lucky with them, like, just drawing a card. Like, they have to tuck this. Yeah. Okay. Narset's interesting. It'll fade out the veto. Problem here is that like they counter two of our spells and dig through time here. Alright, let's put Narsa back in our hand. Which will get the absorb. And like they can't let this happen, because then we just get to get uh confront the pass, so then yeah. Then we can just buy it back. Alright, well, they get to dig through time, and draw a card with Teferi, and if they find anything that answers this Leer, we're kind of doomed. Man. <laughs> a remand would be nice. I mean, Divide by Zero is pseudo-remand. It's remand, but you get to choose the card you draw, which is kind of nice. Two mana, though, versus three be pretty powerful. Man. Their own Narset? Sure. They show me an Absorb, I'm like pretty likely to scoop here. Consider, you're not on a counter spell. This is one of those times where like legitimately I would just be like, Put a counter spell face up. We can go. We can go next. They already know the only card in my hand, so it's not like we're losing any equity. Of like, what if I have a thought seize? All right. This counter is fine. I forgot Lear was one more card down. It could have like a verdict here. That's another veto, sure. Alright, so they get a draw step, a draw step, and a Narset activation. Again, an Absorb, we can just concede and move on to the next one. Another dig through time. That's that's pretty good for me. Yeah. You got it, opponent. Yeah, Blue White has been has been like the matchup I never want to see lately. I feel like no matter what deck I'm playing, which probably tells me I should be playing more Blue White, I'll happily accept those Bezos bucks. If not, for their pocket into mine. See? Look, I love auto pets. It's like probably becoming one of my favorite games. Yo. I don't know if I'm supposed to pronounce the K or not. But not. Thank you so much for the prime sub. Appreciate it so much. Recognize the name. I know you worked on a couple of decks we played on the stream before, the 5-0s and such local pioneer grinder okay so we're up against yorian this is probably like a yorian niv deck i'm gonna find out are you niv are you oh transmogrify that's fair i'm all about taking those healthy breaks to be honest i'm gonna take this chariot i this is another one of those decks I feel like we're pretty favored with this hand if we draw a third land, though. Also pronounced Shell, by the way. Okay, hold on. I'm starting a notepad of, like, people who come to the stream regularly who have names that I don't actually just, like, can't pronounce right off the bat, so I actually know. Not Shell. There we go. I'm also, like, 
tragically bad with pronunciation, so it happens a lot. Yo, thank you so much. Bink, thank you so much for the resub. Those Bezos bucks coming in hot. We got a hype train cooking. Yeah, this is the uh, the Locust God combo. Unless they're just like the uh, the other version. What's the other version? The like Agent of Treachery version, which they could be. That's fair. But, yeah, they could be just Agent. Yeah, if they're... No, if they're Chariot, they could still be Creativity, right? No, it hits Artifacts, right? Yeah, so no. It is just... Just this. Yeah, so then it's just Agent. Alright, we'll let this happen. If they want to Transmogrify, we just kill it. We'll take our two. Take our Lumps. We gotta update. Alright, take our two. And if they do nothing, we just get to Deluge, which is fire, because then we get to do this. Alright. We just kill this now, but I don't think we want to. Grab an island. Get our Deluge on. Ooh, Fatal Push Land is pretty good here. Pretty good. Let's play our land. Since it comes in tapped, we can't do this, but I am going to play Nyssa. We miss... Nyssa, how you have betrayed me. That's okay, we'll live. We'll live. Nyssa the Great Betrayer. Never really, I, I understand hype trains from like the, the certain perspective, but it's always interesting to me that it's something they actively push. I do wonder if anyone's ever been like, it's a hype train, let's sub. It's curious though. Alright, we'll take our lumps. That's fair. I feel like if they're preying on people, like, missing out on not being part of the hype train, that's a little sketch. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, and I guess, like, once you've spent money on Twitch, you're probably, like, closer to being a super user than not, right? Like, you're probably going to spend more money on Twitch if you spent any money. More simpy streams, though? Hey, anyone here can simp for me. I'll allow it. Alright, so we have to be careful of, like, Clarion here. We don't want to waste one of our better lands, but we do need to still have removal up. I'm gonna use our Overgrown Tomb here. That is true. I think, uh... Yeah, the Beginner Bundle? That's fair. Yeah, I think that's one of those things that always gets me, is, like, once you put the first dollar into it, I'm sure you're much more likely to keep going. Fires. Fires makes these divide by zeros pretty spicy. Looks like they're. What are they stinking about? They can't put Yori into hand yet. Larian. Okay. Well, they can't cast any more spells, so we're just gonna have that happen. We could just, like, divide by zero this to get back Narset. Could also just, like, Leer plus Thoughtseize. I don't mind that, because then we can hold up divide by zero. Oh, it, it paid the wrong mana, are you? I deserve everything I've ever gotten in life. All right, and I can't even get, like, black, black here, but I can do this. 
I deserved that moto. I know, I know, I know. God, I know. All right, put that back. Now Thought sees you. They can pick up Yorian, play Yorian. Supreme Verdict or Cast Out? Let's get rid of the Supreme Verdict. You can cast out whichever... Oh, no, no. Actually, that's fine. I kind of don't mind just leaving this at five. It's not perfect, but I kind of would rather draw land for a turn. One, two, three. So they can cycle and play both of these, but cycle matters here, but casting out doesn't matter. Uh, opponent. That's not how that works. All right. Opponent was like, hey, I saw you punted. Let me let me get you back for that one. Appreciate it, opponent. Put your into hand. No, not gonna put your into hand. Okay. <laughs> POV, I'm your opponent. Alright. Sure. Fatal push it is. Let's put this back. Yeah, this game is like very over. I'm just going to loot here because I don't actually want either of those. Plus onto this. Get in for nine. Yeah, Nissa's about to look good again. I hate to say it, but Nissa has looked good in all three of our matches. Nobody tell Darth Amos. That does work. That's fine. Thought our opponent did it again, but I was like, no, it's their turn. Everything, everyone's fine. Everything's fine. Be cool. They take nine. I'm just going to pass. This gives us two divide by zeros. So we just have them, have them sort of checkmated here. Lear looking good, Nissa looking good. Narset's still looking questionable, but good in matchups like this and and the uh Larian, huh? Let's not do that. Uh Heartless Act could go. Yeah, divide by zero into fires of invention with Lear out, huh? Is this a combo? A combination? Hey, Narset can be good in other formats. She's all pretty good in here, just in certain matchups. This matchup is not the one I, I think is her shining example. I also just think there's a lot of aggro going around right now. It's tough for, for Narset to be as good as she wants to be. Alright, now I have a land. Opponent's dead, they're just, I don't know, making me kill him. There's one in the board, two in the main. So the changes Todd was talking about, and I kind of liked some of them. This deck is missing Hydroid Crisis, though. Don't you, don't you put that evil on me. No visa. Thank you so much for the follow. Not sure why it didn't pop up in my uh, my OBS thing, but thank you so much for the follow. So the, the th changes that Todd was talking about was putting the Narsets in the board, cutting some number of Thoughtseize, like one Thoughtseize, putting that in the board, bringing this down to one, because you really only need one of those effects if you have Deluge. And then you just have like five cards to make your deck a little bit more streamlined. Uh, and he wasn't a big fan of the Considers. So like these eight, or these nine cards would come out and go somewhere. These ones would just probably be cut. Oop, not nine, there we go. These four would be cut, these three would make it their way to the sideboard, and then you go from there. Alright, so what do we want against Fires of Invention? I think we want these cards. I think we don't want Abrupt Decay or Heartless Act. I think they end up cutting a lot of their Transmogrify stuff. But, like, we still... I want to hit some of it. I guess Heartless Act is better than Fatal Push for Chariot exactly. Otherwise, it's equal. Is Narset that good here? I don't think it is. 
Could just be like cut one leer. Oh, it could just be extinction event. It's probably better. Yeah, I like how this looks. Man, Krasis? I played so much Nissa Krasis in my life. Or I've watched so much Nissa Krasis in my life. I enjoy it for sure, but I it's one of those things that like I don't know if I'll ever need to play it again. It's good. It's sort of like blue-white Teferi, right? Like, I might sh shy away from that deck just from the amount I have played in my life versus, like, it actually being correct to not play it. All right, so since we're going to play this on two, let's lead on Duress. Fires, Verdict, Birth. They have enough land, so let's just take the Fires. They have Yorian. They'll play land, Birth. We'll play land, Carried in. That's fine. You know, they're snow covered planes. Are we circle we have circled all the way around, huh? Because we started with Pokemon. Alright, let's play carrots in here. Yeah, Nissa Krasis. The joy of many a years. Got some Pokemon Lo-Fi going. The old ramp into Deluge. Is that that old? This card just came out. <laughs> what they draw? Narset? Raven's Warning. Sure. How about these four? Is that true? Yeah, because they played the card we didn't know about. So we want to play this on blue. We don't want to play that into the verdict. We just want a deluge here. What do they put on top though with Raven's Morning? I guess they just draw on this turn. The draw card. Next turn it's to put a sideboard card on top. That might be a problem. Yeah, Fires always finds a way to crawl its way out of the basement sometime or another. Every one, like every couple months, I fire out the Fires Planeswalkers deck I enjoy. I don't like this version as much. I've never liked the like Transmogrify versions as much. One of my pet peeves in Magic is like when everything goes right. Like you do your thing, you're like, oh, I've played Fires into Transmogrify, and then you still have a way to lose. One of the reasons I'm drawn towards like combo decks is like you play your stuff and then your stuff resolves and then you win the game. Like these kind of decks always frustrate me because there's like a chance you just don't. Fails to find a basic? Oh no, opponent. Deluge. Divide by zero. Breeding pool. Yeah, Gen Citadel's a good one. It, it has that same combo finish. I'm big on that, like, combo finish aspect. We have all of these things covered. I just want to shock and cycle. But I kind of just want all my land drops, so I'm just going to play this and pass. Opponent's mana base. I'm assuming they're playing four Birth of Miletus, and if they only have three planes... Sure, I'd be happy to. Is it the Storm Herald one? I actually, uh, I think somebody else was talking about wanting me to play that. I played it uh, a little bit on stream and off stream. It's a lot of fun. I made a lot of pilot errors to start, but as I started playing it, it started going a little better. Yeah, I'd be happy to, to play that one out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure every time I think of you, you're you're the one I think of originating that deck, or at least the first one I saw it, if I'm not mistaken. Because every, every time I see it in the 5 list, I'm like, huh, what am I missing? Oh, yeah, the, the fact that you have uh, Mayhem Devil, yeah, yeah, every time I've seen it, that's why I think I always remember your name with it. But someone else was talking about it the other day. 
It's a deck I like. I think it would take a little bit more practice to get good with. But it's actually, it was better than I thought it was, which is an interesting indictment given that I was bad at playing it. So I think with a little more time, it would be a deck that I think actually would be pretty good. I was a little surprised, not gonna lie. Damn, that's impressive. Kind of just in this holding pattern. I think I'm gonna play Leer here. Cycles, fine. They find a counterspell? They found Dispute. That's awkward. Like, it's so weird for them to have counterspells in their deck in this Fires deck, but I guess it's not that crazy. Do we know these cards? Or two of these three cards? Well, that's the thing, is like, I played with it, and I realized I was making some mistakes, and then I kept playing with it, and the mistakes got less frequent, I was like, wait, this deck just like, kind of acts like Dredge with a combo finish. And like, it's hard to interact with. I actually quite liked it. Like I said, it's it's one of those decks that I would happily give another go to. It'll not be at the top of my list for a hot minute because I'm... Oh, they... Did we not know? No, we do know two of their cards. Their, their draw step was fires into transmogrify. How rude of them. That's fine. Like, this is what I mean, right? Like, they did their thing. And, like, what do they have to show for it? They took a land. Which, like, isn't nothing, don't get me wrong, but, like, they drew their two combo cards. And then did that. Yeah, there's a million decks in Pioneer, which is, I think, half of the fun of Pioneer. Let's just get rid of this so they can't do any, any shenanigans with it. Divide by zero. Yeah, Pioneer's a blast. Off a bigger villainous wealth than they've got. That's true. That's another card I wish ever could see play. I don't want to just do this for the sake of... getting a card. This Aethergust isn't doing much for us. Hunt the past doesn't do anything for us. We could get Mascot, but we know they have a Verdict. I guess forcing the verdict here is not bad. Cycle, cycle, cycle. That's true. So they have fires now, so... No wealth for them. They get to draw one or more, so they draw one card here. Like, slowly getting pecked away at here. These gusts are not doing great for us. Three, four, five, six, seven. I think we do this to try and force the verdict in the next turn. We try to deluge. Yeah, they can Yorian. Yeah, I've I've really liked the like humans like Celesne human style decks and like burn and stuff. Like I like those kind of decks. The get 'em dead decks and the combo decks are my favorite kind of decks in Pioneer. They're not always the best decks, but I, I like the feeling of inevitability. Well, they have two cards in hand and one of them's verdict. So if they do that, they have a one one and a Yorian, and I'm not that scared of that particularly. I mean, like, maybe I should be? Block. We are kind of in a spot where we need to find something. So hopefully we can deluge into it, but... Them countering that Leer was tough. Tough for us. Yeah, there's the verdict. Pick up Yorian, play Yorian. Well, we need a 7th land, is the problem, here. Yep. 
Yeah, there are two draw steps being fires into Transmogrify. It was like back to back whammies for us with the uh, dispute coming down to. Aether Gusts have not looked good for us, unfortunately. All right, so we take five, they draw a card. We untap, hope to take another five, go to one, find something that can answer this board. Leer would be fine, because it lets us, like, heartless act. But then we still just die to this. Yeah, I think we will upkeep stop. Yeah, Teferi's a lot of fun. I, I mean, well, which Teferi? Three or five? Because I think three creates some, some not-as-fun times. But I enjoy five a lot. Three, three I like because it's powerful, not because it's a good thing to exist, is I guess where I'm at with it. Uh, Inverter I didn't like. Yo, how's it going, Jake? How you been? Saw you commenting on the Reddit post, appreciate it a lot. Oh, that's fair. I mean, like, that's perfectly fair. I think Teferi did a lot of work in those decks. Oh? So you're saying there's a chance. Could you imagine if putting the, uh, <laughs> putting the, uh, fires on top unlocked a counterspell in their hand? I chained the rocks out of here, huh? Alright, so we know there's a Clarion. Put fires to the bottom, a Seekus Chariot to the top. So they're drawing Chariot, which doesn't matter. Yeah, I liked that a lot. Uh, I played, I top forward SEG Philly with, um, with Vance Scapeshift. Teferi was a ton of fun in that deck. We need to keep a divide by zero up in case. Five, six, seven, eight. We have Deluge. We can also just cast Deluge for four off of Leer, which is kind of funny. Oh, yeah. I, that's the thing is like Teferi does some weird stuff, but it's all very powerful. If, if Teferi had the same plus but didn't negate the opponent's entire ability to play spells, I think you would be in a happier place for it to exist. As it is, it's in that weird spot where, like, it does too much all of the time. Yeah, I didn't like Inverter. Inverter was too much for me. It's like Underworld Breach. Like, it was just, it was just too much. The combo decks were too consistent. The Fairy Bouncer is a saga. Ugh. All right, you're up, opponent. Yeah, Inverter feels like Doomsday and not a good way to me. Where I'm like, this isn't what I want to be doing at all. Yeah, cards that stop you from playing the game are like, Kind of not a, not a good time. Could just play like a Supreme Verdict here. That would be bad for us. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Oh. Okay. But we're probably gonna die. <laughs> if we put one of the cats on the top, it's the same because this is gonna be in their hand and we have the next turn. Oh. 
Okay. Well, I'm gonna attack for three here. Oh no, never mind, it's their turn. It's our their turn. <laughs> Emrakul's still on the sideboard, huh? Good to know. This has been a wild back and forth game. Oh, Nissa's pretty decent. Oh, except I put Confront in my hands? Oh my god. They're just taking the environmental sciences, huh? Well, I guess we get Leer so we can always buy her back. So it's not, it's not that big a deal. The Emrakul will be the harder thing to deal with. But that'll be in a turn or two, so. We'll deal with that when we come across it. Unfortunately, we don't have a Thoughtseize cooking right now. We used the Thoughtseize earlier to take away the... Supreme, one of the Supreme Verdicts? Something. Took away something. They don't actually have a ton of agency, right? Like, their attack isn't good. Oh, it was a duress. Uh, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thirteen. Exactly. We actually could hive more than once. I learned today from Twitter that if you activate the ability more than once, you actually get it twice. So what they should do is activate Hive, pick something that doesn't er erase a card, and then uh, block with the cat. They lose for seven, but they do have to, they'll take two lands, but they have to pick something. Damn, we were so close to forcing them to give us a spell. Yeah, land, land, that's fine. Probably shock us down to four. So they have one enchantment. No, they have two enchantments, two creatures. One instant. One sorcery. Okay, so if we activate this twice and do instant sorcery. This is just a free attack. What are we doing here? Okay. They fabled passage fail to find. Yeah, shock me, that's fine. Yeah, I don't think they they quite saw that we're gonna make get rid of two types in their yard here. Okay. Start here. Alright, so cost four, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Use us with four. Is okay, so let me just see if we can do this. Oh, we have to tap a Taurus, right? That might be what does it. Oh, but we get to untap one too, right? Okay, so we play Nissa. Two, four, six, eight is two activations. And I can do this. So then we get to do it back, right? Yeah. Yeah, we can do it with Nissa. I'm gonna save that one. <laughs> this. Black. Do it again. All right, so we said we need to hit Sorcery and instant. Thanks, Twitter, for letting me know this was a thing I could do. Wait, it only went to four types? Did I miss one? Supreme Verdict, there was two. Damn, we're one mana short, so they have to hit an untap land. 
but they could do it. Could. I'd like it if they didn't. I I missed the supreme verdict there. Okay, it doesn't look like it if they're tapping right now. Three, six, eight, twelve. No! Damn it. Alright, so we're gonna lose our Leer here. And our Nyssa. Damn. The Juke. We needed one more land, because we had three here. Uh, I'll block. If we had one more land, <laughs> which I guess their stealing of our land actually came back to bite us, but if we had this land, we could have done three times and then they actually couldn't ever cool us. Okay, well. <sighs> yeah, Big Brain might have been confirmed for zero. I was thinking we still have Leer, but it's fair. We'd gotten a forest. Uh, yeah, that would have worked, but we needed one more black source on tap, so we would have just had to tap differently, but that still would have worked. Damn. There was, there was ways. Actually, we only have one basic swamp, right? I mean, let me double check. Do we have two? Yeah, we only have one basic swamp, so that wouldn't have worked. Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. Then, yeah, we get the forest that works. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, cycle's interesting. Stable passage. Float enough luck, yeah. Pro instance. So we can't even divide by zero it, so what are our outs? Do we have any? I mean, our opponent's also down to like five minutes and change in their control deck in our control mirror, because they're like making game actions that don't matter. Secretly, if I was on stream, this is where I'd be playing Super Auto Pets and just like let them do their thing. Damn, Jeff with the big brain plays. Just send Leer in. So I guess we don't really have anything with Leer right now, right? Because Emrakul has Trample, but I guess this does eliminate some stuff you could have, probably. All right, Nissa kill Nissa, Nissa or Nissa kill Nissa confront, sure. I don't even know what we could draw here. I think all our answers are instants. They just let us have this. Okay. Okay, so this has Menace, this gets blocked, we make two of these. Still not enough, but it's probably worth making them have to block us here. We are at that part of the game. Yeah, this is only game two. Get in for nine, so we're one turn short. So if we had done Jeff's line, we just win. Damn, because we get to Thoughtseize the uh, Dammer cool here. Damn. 
We just needed to do Jeff's line and then we win. Or at least the Emrakul dies and then... So I guess we're at one, so we can't do the Thoughtseize. So we just have to keep pumping the Hive up. Hive up? That's fair. But I think we do still win game two if we play it correctly there. Damn. All right, well, on to game three. They didn't have this in their deck. They boarded it in, too. Uh, maybe Narset's just fine as a way to find things, plus... Uh... Maybe it's just a way to find things and shut off their, like, redraws. Yeah, opponent does have four minutes. They just bring in the extinction events. In true just-don't-die fashion. Uh... I think only one... No, two. Two third phases re resolved. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two third phases resolved. Let's see, bring back in the fatal pushes. These gusts were kind of terrible. I'm going to take them out. Yeah, two, two thirds stage resolved, and then one second stage got blinked after they drew. So they had three ravens, three second stage, and then two third stage. All right, we're on the play. Oh, it's got a hot four minutes. This hand's good. We have protection, we have ramp, we have a threat, we have go blank. This is almost everything we could ask for with the exception of a one mana uh, hand disruption spell. All right, that's a good draw. So next turn... That's true. I think I'm just gonna go blank him here. While wow, we have a hot second. Narset snow covered planes. Interesting. Hello, Zelda. Any Zeldas in chat? I know uh, Craig summoned Zelda by accident earlier, just like snapped it off. So we could just hold up Divide, or we could slam Nissa. There's not really any Fire's Draws I'm scared of, since we have this, uh, this Heartless Act to protect against like Transmogrify stuff. My girl, hang out. A little bow tie. Ooh, the accessory to end all accessories. Get this land transmogrify. Fires, sure. Fires is fine. Next comes transmogrify. Carry it, sure. Now they just die. So we get to just like always have things up. Kill this so they can't stand up chariot. Not on to the sweet cat. That's illegal. Alright, I'll play Leer. Blue, blue. Need to make sure we have a blue land up. Now we have double divide by zero for both their spells. It's fine. And then we can go blank them next turn. They put like three mana to get Yorian. We can always just put this back in their hand. I would just do this now, right? A 
Full environmental sciences. Keep our land total high. Oh, that's a good one for sure, for sure. Forest. Environmental sciences twice is whoa. All right, that's that's enough, Lear. You've you've murdered this family. Everything comes in. We go blank them. Hold up, divide plus removal. Yeah, even though they would probably time out in a long game, I don't think we're gonna have a long game. And we have limited. Yeah, that's one of those things. Is like every time I read Lear, I'm like, it's definitely limited once per turn, right? Nope, it is not. We have five in hand. I don't think go blanking them does much, as opposed to just holding up this and removal. Yep, there we go. Yeah, if Lear was limited to once per turn, I think it would still be strong, but the way it is, it's just unreal. Especially with, like, Nissa out. Alright, we're up to two and one. This deck feels good. It's definitely, I agree with where Todd was, where, like, there's changes to be had, but right now it's a baseline strong. Maybe they juke us, but I'm gonna go with Mono Red here. This hand's so bad <laughs> to mono red. It's actually not even that great, right, into anything, because we have to hit a black source. This hand's better. Daily's is a little awkward. Our mana base is also a little awkward, but we can like tap land, turn to this. I think we just get rid of the Deluge. I think we need basically any card off the top here that's relevant, so Deluge is like almost any card. Hey, look, it's mono red. Yeah, place tap. You're gonna make me do it, aren't you? Fine, fine. Actually, no, I'll take one. Actually, that was an upkeep. Never mind. I'm gonna say they're still gonna make me do it though. But I'm not gonna kill this right now. I'm gonna kill an idol on. Cemetery Gatekeeper naked, huh? Let that resolve. Now kill it. Do I want a Thoughtseize? I don't think I do yet. I think what I want to do is divide, then Thoughtseize plus, um... Plus Environmental Sciences. Like, I would divide, divide by zero almost any spell here. As I drop a bunch of cards, I shuffle. Oh my. You'd think with how long I've shuffled cards, I would be better at it, but there we go. These are all just basic lands, so maybe they just don't don't quite work the same for me. All right, I'd like to see a Frostodon or a Chain Whirler. Chain Whirler is great. That back, Environmental Sciences. Sciences gets us land five and some life. Get that tapped. Thought sees their hand. Let's see what they're working with. Oh boy. Gatekeeper, gatekeeper, lightning strike, play with fire, chain whirler. So we just want to get rid of the lightning strike because it deals more damage than the thought sees, and it pumps the soul scar, and and it kills a land. Even with Soul Scar, though, like the play with fire essentially kills a land, but it doesn't actually kill a land. Lightning Strike just straight up kills a land. Yeah, if they're being efficient. It is awkward, though, because like Nissa lands can't block Chain Whirler effectively. Well, let's just plus our worst land. We can't attack. We know they have play with fire. So we block the Soul Scar Mage if they attack here, just on the basis of like play with fire eats the land, but then Nissa lives. And like we just want to use have them use their resources while we find more of our own resources. This at us? There's no way it's at us, right? That's at Nissa. I'll block here. 
like we know they're just gonna like uh play with fire the land so it it's free for us to block yep nissa takes three they can play cemetery gatekeeper kind of wonder what they take here probably an instant soul scar plus gatekeeper sure so extinction events are best draw by a million miles here just like absolutely houses them how's land All right. I'm gonna attack. If they want to trade both these creatures, I'm down for it. Because we have a backup Nissa. And like they still have to send all of their damage here. I think killing two creatures plus they they end up spending like eight damage at Nissa. Or 10 damage at killing Nyssa and two creatures, and then we just slam another Nyssa. So, like, we still need to answer this Chain Whirler. Need to draw, like, a Heartless Act or something. But we're still back to the point where Extinction Event would be nutty. Most things would be good. Leer would be awkward, because it doesn't actually have... Ma we don't have mana to do two things. Nissa would be good, removal spell would be good. Alright, so now we have Den activation, which is kind of hard for us to beat. Flooding out is not good for us. Not at all. Like, this is the problem with, like, any mid-range deck, is we're just, like... <laughs> we've drawn a Thoughtseize and a Nissa, and that's the only draws we've had this game. Like, they attack with everything, including the den. We can not save Nyssa, so we just eat a Gatekeeper. I guess we could just eat the Soul Scar. They just attack with these. I mean, they could just attack with everything but Soul Scar, and then we eat the Cemetery Gatekeeper, because they can't just attack with the threes, because then we get to eat the, the den. Our trade with the den and our thing lives. So everything comes at Nyssa. We block here. Like now even Leer isn't good because they got rid of our fatal push. Like gotta be extinction event. And we block here and Nyssa dies. That was the worst card in our deck in this matchup. But I guess it could draw us into a better card, so that's kinda where we're at. Okay. Like, also weirdly racing, because they've sent, like, what? Um, they've sent more than our life total at, at Nissa's this game. So, like, Chain Whirler goes unblocked, Soulscar goes blocked, probably. Do we block the Den if they just stand it up? Because after Extinction Event... They would be left with two goblins, and we would be left with nothing. Okay, so these two at Narset, this at us, this at us. So Narset's gonna die for sure, so I think we just block a goblin. We're gonna Extinction Event Odd anyway. So it's Den and two goblins versus our Overgrown Tomb and whatever we draw. Fatal Push? Heritage kind of okay, in so far as it blocks a goblin. That's not even that good, right? Odd. We are like weirdly racing them because they have to tap so much mana for this, right? Do we even want this? Like this just eats a goblin. We can just play this next turn. Like, we just need both players to draw absolutely nothing for the rest of the game. And then we're, like, winning that race, right? Because we take four three times, and they take three three times. And, like, we're going to start taking one less. 
So if both players draw absolutely nothing, we win. If we draw Anissa, we win. Zergo doesn't change the math. We can block it forever. Zergo kind of counts as nothing. Because it also can't block creatures, so it can't even block us. But the goblins can block, which is kind of a problem. At a point, it'll be a problem. Not a problem quite yet. Man, this is, this is a back and forth game for what it's looked like. Oh, if they're just going to combat, that's got to be bad for us. All right, this looks like a shock. It means we just don't block the goblin. Take one. That uh, well, we just keep eating the same, the same goblin with the overgrown tomb. <laughs> Can't fool us, but this is a problem. This is not nothing. Because not only does it make it hard to get through, we also can't attack or block profitably. Okay. We just pass. So we block Zergo, block Bone Crusher with Karyatid. Take two. Kill the den. Or do we just kill the bone crusher? Take the den hit? Den's so mana intensive, they might just not stand it up. Yeah, that's kind of what they're doing here. They draw another burn spell. We need them to have nothing in for us to draw Leer or Nyssa. We're going to go to three. We go to three, they go to three. But then we have to block the den if we don't draw another removal spell. Gatekeeper. Yeah, ruins are also a problem. Okay, so, so hold on. Do we have an instant in our yard? No. So they have to just take a sorcery or a planeswalker. Okay, if we draw Nyssa, we win if we kill the gatekeeper. If we draw Leer, we should be fine-ish. So what happens if we draw nothing? Like, assume we draw nothing, we go to three, we attack for three, we block the den, and we die. So we have to draw something, but drawing a Nyssa here... Drawing a Nyssa here, if we kill the Gatekeeper, is better. Alright, I'm gonna kill the Gatekeeper. Yeah, take Fatal Push, that's fine. You, they have another spell? Are you kidding me? All right, that's just, that's fucked. All right, Nissa off the top. Oh, land. They just take it. That's fair, I guess. A so block. Take three, four, five. Yeah. Bam. Man, we really didn't find what we needed. That's a that's a good game, but. We just couldn't find. We need like those divide by zeros a little earlier. All right, so Aether Gust. Aether Gust comes in. You go out. You go out. And you come in. I don't want this for maybe a divide, a memory deluge. Okay. Man, that was a tight one. The double den was tough. A lot of a lot of that stuff was tough, but I think this is a matchup we're supposed to be favored in, but I'm sure it's close. Like I'm sure it's, it's one of those things where like three color control decks with clunky threats might not actually be favored against red, but they're like mid range enough that I feel like we should be. Chain Whirler was like actually terrible for us. 
So this hand, like, what does it do? We get blue, we consider, get something else, we divide by zero. I think this hand's kind of mediocre. And it's way better. I'm gonna trim one of these lands. I think we have enough time between uh, Heartless Act and Aether Gust. Hopefully, find some lands. Sure. Okay. Pass, see what they do. Alright, I'll take the one. We'll see how it goes. Do they want to kill an idol on here? Yeah. Take our lumps. Alright, or one land away. Get in there. So chain warmer would be good for us. Rossidon's good for us. That's really don't want them just like splitting all their creatures. I'm gonna kill Zergo here. Guaranteed two power. We can Aether Gust this if they play enough spells. Yeah, I'm just going to slam this Cletus and make them have some stuff to answer it. And hope we don't die while we wait for Nyssa to turn on. The Nyssa waiting room, as it were. Well, that's unfortunate. That's like the one thing we needed to dodge for a turn, too. Yep. Like, kind of in a weird spot where, like, that's always going to kill that. Now we just need to draw land. Oh, we missed. We miss, we miss. We're still good with a land as long as they don't leave a blocker back. And feels bad. Yeah, I think if we're just doing nothing there, it's, like, awkward. Why do you draw land? Big misplay. True, true. Being better at drawing lands is a big skill. Just easy drawing. Make two mana. That's cheating. Just spending it on Ben. Scab Clan Berserker, huh? Okay, well, I kind of want to just. All right, I'm gonna take two, three, four, six. That's gonna suck. I'll go to five, hope they don't draw a land for Den. Yeah, this will clear these. Hope they just like play two one drops here. They don't, shocking. Odd, okay. Yeah, we did. All right. Jeez. Felt bad. Hey, thanks so much. GG's. Insult I Leer deck, a lot of fun. All right, opponent doesn't have anything we know about. Okay, so this looks like it's probably Ascendancy? I want to say it could be Phoenix, but I think the Storm Coast, but I thought the Ascendancy list were all playing Gigantha. Maybe, maybe. Maybe it's just Phoenix and they let on the coast. That'd be fine. Uh, I want that Divide by Zero, but I want lands for Narset more. 
Well, Karyatid's kind of a land for Narset, so deal. Is this a sensor? I guess this could be the Transmogrify deck. This is a lot of stuff. They just haven't done anything. Okay. Aggressive, one of many decks. Pretty much anything with blue-red. Yeah, I've liked this deck. It's definitely felt sweet. I liked Todd's commentary on it. I've agreed so far through this league with most of it. Nissa, Lear, feel very, very good. Feels like the shell wants like one or two more cards that matter. Okay, well we kind of want to hit some lands. Let's do this. Just play Narset. Uh, let's grab this divide by zero. Like if they just go like land Arclight Phoenix kill this, it's kind of rough, but even then we're just buying time. If we knew I mean we're pretty sure it's Phoenix, but like if we knew they had a Phoenix in hand, we just leave this at five. They left a card on top. Uh, it doesn't yet. I think it's a card we'll probably end up adding. I think over the Narset's main, I'd rather have Typhoon just as like an extra threat. Yeah, exactly what we thought. I like Typhoon too, because like you do just need a little bit more velocity than this deck naturally has. Oh yeah, yeah, against you both games, we sort of like, at the end, we're just like, game one, we were just like needing something, and we weren't able to find anything. Game two, we needed a land, the turn you played Chandra, we had the Nissa to kill it, but we needed a land and missed. Just, just too much pressure with the Dens being able to like, be good, I mean, Den is the best creature land from this set for a reason, it's so much pressure. Yeah, Murderous Cut? is interesting. Like, the thing is, I don't think we need more removal. We need more velocity. Like, right now, this deck has six threats, and, like, you don't actually have a lot of, like, velocity to get to it. We should have played Karyatid, because we didn't have a Black Source to be able to hold up Heartless Act. Events. Talk to 13. Oh, they just like cast a pieces of the puzzle. No, this is a lava axe, hopefully not pitching Arclight Phoenix. Otherwise, we get like supremely punished. Toddler Rage. I think I remember seeing you in Todd Anderson's chat this morning, or this afternoon, whenever he streamed. Oh yeah, that's that was a good one to learn on Twitter. We almost got somebody with double hive activation to stop an Emrakul earlier. I should have been able to do it three times to be able to stop it, which is like kind of crazy to with Nissa to be able to activate three times, eat three creatures, but yeah, being able to double was there. Yeah, I recognize the name. Toddler Rage is such a such a good username. Excellent Baby Rage uh, parody. Oh, we are just getting supremely punished by not having a black duel to be able to kill one of these here. This is woof. We are. You're getting everything we earned and more so. Baby Rage grew up a little bit. Love it. Man. It's one of the main reasons to play Phoenix. Sometimes you just like, your opponent does something dumb, and then you just get to kill him. Uh, 
Uh, we have the Fatal Push, maybe we're just supposed to stand up Hive. But it still wouldn't have worked, right? Because we kill this and then it comes back. Yeah. And we had to tap everything for the Nissa. Yeah, I don't think we had a line there. Could have just, like, not done anything. Alright. Time walk. Everybody's favorite magic card. I'm like more tired of Temporal Trespass than I am of Treasure Cruise, if I'm being honest. I think uh, Temporal finding a place in Phoenix right after Standard where everyone was playing Time Walks is just too much, too back to back for my taste. Oh, they're both sorceries, right? They're all sorceries, right? Because our uh, Epiphany is a sorcery, too. I actually don't... I'm trying to think of the time walks that are instants, and it's just the six mana one that you can pay three mana for if it's your turn. Uh, yeah, not Nexus. Nexus also can get out of here, but Nexus is also banned, so... Yeah. I don't think of Nexus very often now that it's banned, right? No one plays it in Modern. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, Phoenix is one of those decks that I know I should play more of, but I just don't. <laughs> it's just... Uh, I should play more of it, but I don't. Well, like, I played against a lot of Time Walks in the Nexus era, and then I played Epiphany matchups, and just, it's so many. I'm just kind of tired of that effect. Kill your own bird, sure. Yeah. Yeah, this extinction event's gonna be fire. Except we have to kill both our carried, so like maybe not that good. Oh, I love the Torrent of Hellfire decks. Feel like we should have been advantaged in that game. We need to like not use our Narset, but like they hadn't shown us anything. But that's probably just like correct to not use our Narset there. Feels kind of bad though. Let's bring in these. Thoughtseize can go, push can go. Actually, Decay is probably worse than Push, because Push can hit the thing in the ice. Decay can't hit the birds. Do we have anything else we don't really want? I think we want all these. Well, it's like, if against Phoenix, I like to just never use Narset, but... I don't know. I think I was trying to hit something to do. Copy twice. Beautiful. Right, I'll keep this hand. We're just gonna hopefully shred their hand. Find something. Play in some Sultai uh, mid range. Harlan Fear 5 0'd with it. Todd 4 1. Todd Anderson's 4 0'd. 4 1'd with it on stream. Deck's good. I think it it's a little clunky. It's in its first iteration, so there's a lot to be improved on. But I think it's solid. It uh it won the Patreon poll for what to play this week. So wanted to make sure we got that done. Divide double push. That's fair. Uh Winota's still coming up. That'll be later. Yeah, divide double well, what would double push have done against the Phoenixes? The divide would have been fine. Not sure what double what pushes would have done against the Phoenix. Yeah, we haven't done the Winota League yet. I meant to join this league with Winota, but we ended up joining with Saltai, but both needed to get done, so sort of fine either order it went in.
So I owed a Winota League for the poll over on YouTube and this deck won Patreon, so. Let's see what they have cooking here. Hopefully we get to take this. Lightning X pieces, all right. Assuming they have like land plus something to reiterate their land. Yeah, they also mulled the five. That's just rude, huh? I guess we could go blank. All right, go blank. Divide by zero here. Their last card's a uh, dispute. That's fine. We have five lands. I'm just gonna grab exhibition here. They want to commit to like play land, play thing in the ice. We kill it and then take their hand. Sure. So hopefully our ideal is they put a land in. Yep, shock and then play a uh, thing in the ice here. Yep, now we get to kill it. Take their hand. Two things, the charter course pieces, nice. What did you draw, opponent? Right, of course, sure. They pitch Phoenix, we just get to eat it, hopefully. Cruise, sure. Another thing in the ice? Alright. Do this. We want to protect whatever land, so we just want to pick a bad land here. This man has a family. They're never out. Never never discount Phoenix, man. So we do this. Stand it up. Or You can. The mana cost is two. So they errated uh, what the cost of a flip card is a while ago so that the back is just the front. Because you used to be able to fatal push like a flipped Huntmaster, and that obviously wasn't the interaction they wanted, so they wanted it to be um, a little bit more consistent that way. Uh, do we just have lethal if we put the thing in the ice back? No. I mean, maybe, but I think it's an issue where, like, we can have lethal. We just don't want them to have a chance at drawing a, um... Lava Axe. Best possible draw, I think. This is a six, and then we attack and then activate this, so that's 12 menace. 12 menace. Get in there. All right. 
Nissa continues to impress. Look at that weird stacking. You love to see it. All right, so. Kind of don't want to change anything. I like where we're at. We have a lot of interaction, a lot of answers. Gust isn't great against them because all the cards we care about are blue. Thought these might be fine on the draw. Kind of depends what we want to take out, but like. Fine down the draw. But what do we want to take out is the real problem. Maybe Leer's like kind of awkward. Because of the memory deluge plus um. Just like Lava Axe, you only get like one extra spell off it, but like maybe one extra spell is good enough. It really is. Like, Nissa has looked great with Divide by Zero and Hive and Leer. Like, these cards have looked excellent. It's these cards that have looked uh, a variable level of excellent. But Nissa actually has looked pretty insane. Oh, what do we want? Like, I think we just want Consider. Like, we do need to filter our draw steps a little bit here. Like, maybe just, like, slowing them down so we're slowing us down. We should, like, cut this, cut these, frame like this. Just, like, assume they're relying on Thing in the Ice, and then we can use these. So I joke about Krasis, but like I think it's just supposed to be Shark Typhoon. I think I think if you're gonna make the changes, you would just play Shark Typhoon. I think it does everything this deck wants to be doing. Speaking of doing everything this deck wants to be doing. But then again, I'm all about Inting Andy. Inting Andy is my favorite pastime of all time, so big fan of that. Might just die to a uh, thing in the ice here. Get a duress on one, but I think we want a duress to protect the Narset more. Like, I think we don't want to fall into that trap of like duress on one and then turn two, they could get a draw step with a bunch of like ops and things. Do they have the thing in the ice or do they have a spell? This looks like a ex wait, expressive after playing a land? That's. You lack patience, my friend. So rare when that's actually correct. Like, they just lose an opt for no reason. Duress them. Axe iteration. <laughs> Double arc light pieces. So... Really want to get rid of those pieces. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Expressive is bad for us, but... I think Pieces is a much harder card for us to answer on our current board state. They played land though, so like are they gonna just like not expressive now? Are they just again wasting a slot on expressive unless they find a one drop? Not really sure why they played the land. Okay, they drew chart of course. Sure. So We know about these three. None of these can put a second Phoenix in the yard and not being able to draw a card. Seems like it would be tough for them to get three spells down. I think I am just gonna play Narsa and not use it. I think we're gonna learn from our mistakes here. Yeah, go blank would be nice. I mean, if they drew day, okay, they didn't draw dispute. I think I'm just gonna pass. I'm just gonna pass. We're gonna learn from our mistakes since they could just play land, play Arclight Phoenix, and then we're not happy. Whereas like then we get to just like hold up, divide by zero, fatal push. Alright, leading on Express is great for us here. It's gonna be tough for them to find spells without losing draws. The the worst case is like flame blast bolt into flame bus bolt, or like flame blast bolt into like something that doesn't cause a loss, but that's that's pretty good. 
Did we have divide busy? Okay, now we're in great shape. Let's play our forest. I'm just gonna keep this Narset at five forever. We'll eventually get this Leer down. Sure. Like, we've turned off Cruise. They just drew a card. Land. If they play Arclight, what do we want to do here? Probably just divide it. Thing in the ice. Sure. We just want to Fatal Push that. Let's consider first. Oh, go blank. Thank you, yes. Okay, I'll push that. Another Fatal Push. Another yes, please. Oh, we wanted to play that for black. It's actually kind of awkward. I thought I clicked black. Hmm. <laughs> they have five cards. I think I just want to hold up this divide by zero. Like, I think if we can, like, play Leer, play Duress, and they Lightning Axe it, then we're in a position where we might just be able to use this Narset. But for now, I think we just want to keep the game going. Make them churn their resources. So many of their cards draw cards, so they're just like repeatedly in a good place as far as that's concerned. Yeah, they land. Play Phoenix. Pieces. I don't want them to have pieces, but also kind of don't care because most of the cards they get off pieces draw cards. Flame Bless Bolt. Consider. Flame Bless Bolt's a little annoying. But not like overly so. Okay, Carry Tid's actually great here. Oh, why do you gotta be like this random cap otter? Get out of here. If they like go all in to like kill this Narset, there's a chance I might just like divide by zero the Narset to reset it. Fine. White Phoenix. Five by zero this. They have an Aether Gust, so they could just like gust their own Phoenix so they don't want me to have this divide by zero, but that seems kind of loose. Let's grab this Confront the Past, <laughs> so that if they do kill this Narset, we just get him back. Ooh, Deluge is pretty good. Let's clear this graveyard, though. Base of Surgery on huh kind of a pain so they were thinking about invasive surgery the divide by zero it was not to do it 
Now I think I want to minus this Narset, see if we can't pull another go blank. We want go blank here. Or not go blank, sorry, divide by zero. Right, I'll take the divide. Right. Yeah, so we have no way to answer their graveyard, which is a problem. Getting rid of the goblins there is real bad for us. Six mana, probably going up to seven. Divide it. Draw land, we could like we get mascot exhibition. And so if we hit a land, we can get exhibition. Kind of nice as an option. Yes. The Lear Duress doesn't really do anything for us, right? Let's Deluge. Find a heartless act here. The dispute. Yeah. This is like that repeated downside of like always running into the Phoenix deck of like they just have 30 cards in hand because all they did early was filter, but I have to assume they have a lot of card draw in their hand. Alright, pay four for your Phoenix. Man, that go ex that surgery on go blank is it's a rough one. Yeah. The land they can trespass, otherwise they can cruise a bunch, which is no, they just do nothing. All right, well. I'll buy it back. Okay. Plan of their cards. Another Phoenix or a Trespass. Another Phoenix then Trespass, sure. Alright, 
Well, we can kill one. Try to chorus. Sure. Which is cute. I just want like extinction event here. Five, six, seven, eight. We got rid of two of them. We six our mana a little bit, but we'll have this exhibition next turn, hopefully. We can always leer duress, but they have to save this act for here. Pieces, sure. Impulse axe. Took chart. The Phoenix, if they have one. Impulse. Well, that just gets gusted. Lear just gets disputed. So both kind of suck. They haven't shown us Jace yet, no. But I assume they boarded it in. If we had Dispute, this would be a nice moment. But we don't. So this is just going to get gusted. And like, we kind of want to just draw it again. Sad as that is. So they have Charter Course, Impulse, Axe, or Charter Course, Axe, Axe, Dispute. There's the chart. My guess is they're going for a Jace win. You don't really have any way to answer. Flame Bless Bolt, sure. Thing, sure. So we don't want to Fatal Push this now because they just have a uh, Dispute. Is this just like a big old cruise? Double consider? Okay. Or just consider looking for a treasure cruise? Well, now they can't dispute. They just... Just did that to bring back a phoenix? Okay. Take three. This is going to resolve. What on earth is this? Get in there. Yeah, I just don't think we plus because we don't want to lose a land to the Lightning Axe here. They don't have any more Phoenixes in the yard either, so like the chances they can actually kill this <laughs> pretty low. So like just plus. No, if they have Jace, they win. So like it's very unlikely they clock themselves before they can mill ten cards. But like now we have unlimited mana if this lives, so like then they can never dispute us. Yeah, they're going after us. Okay. Yeah, that's the plan.
clear. Two, four, seven. This is seven mana. Oh, it just resolves. Okay. So do we confront, pick up Narset? Or I guess we can just divide by... No. No, we just got a duress. Just got a duress. We can always divide by zero later. Consider who we find. Land we don't want. Another land. Oh, we can't actually use other spells, right? Because then they can just dispute this. Okay. If they don't have the Jace here, it's rough for us. They could just also have two disputes. Aether Gust and Nessa. Uh, it can be if Lear is not in play. But like when they kill Lear, if they play the other Lightning Axe, then this can be countered again. Okay. Okay. So I don't have the Jace in hand. Damn. Do we play a third forest one time? I think we do. No, only two. Yeah, we already played land. Okay, axe, axe. One, two, three, four, five. Nissa. Off auto yield. <laughs> we still get the two mana off, just killing it. Fine. I'm just gonna pay the six mana, that makes more sense. It's like... We should have a swamp left in our deck and an island. Cool. Alright, we have Deluge next turn. They can Lightning Axe our Inkling, but it's going to be tough for them to kill our Nyssa, and then we just need them not to find... They haven't cast a single Cruise yet, right? No, don't draw things. Yeah, they didn't find a single Cruise or Time Walk yet. Alright, Lightning Axe is fine. Fine as things are. Maybe they boarded out all of their Delve spells with a... With the concern of, uh... Let's Deluge. Seven. 
10, 13. We could get a Nissan to play. We just get like Narset. We just get Narset land into play, to be honest. Nazis here. Let's see if they have a removal spell. Okay, they get one draw step. I guess they get two. <laughs> they get two draw steps because we actually didn't get to attack there. They had three lightning axes. Which means we might just die if we don't find anything. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's lethal. Five. That was, that was a hell of a match. Nissa truly the most pog. Where the hell is that galvanic iteration? Man, this was a hell of a match. Nissa, unreal good. This is when they like kill my thing. They're like so close to you winning, idiot. Nah. Great games though. That was a fucking tight one. Nissa earned the dub. Man. That was a fun league. That was a very fun league. A lot I think we can do with this deck. For sure, for sure. Hey there. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed this content on either Twitch or YouTube. If you did, please like or subscribe. If you didn't, be sure to leave a comment down below. I promise not to read it. Until next time.